Ruben Dario was the leader of the Modernismo movement in South America and also the one of the key inspirations for the Modernist movement late, um, to, later to come in North America and Europe. He traveled throughout South America at a young age and he was always on the move. His parents separated at birth and so he only saw his mother twice in his life and both times very briefly and his father was more like an uncle to him. And when Dario went to Europe, he was greatly inspired by Parnassianism, which was a Parisian movement in France where these French poets were very frustrated with Romanticism and the way it was because it was just too sentimental. So they created a more, more exacting form of um, Romanticism called Parnassianism. And Ruben Dario brought this back to his homeland of Nicaragua and he also brought together traditional romanticism as well as symbolism to write Azul, which was a collection of poems and prose writing in 1888. And this was the day when modernis modernismo was born. The problem with Ruben Dario's work for English speaking people is that the translations don't give the real justice to Ruben Dario and his work. The rhymes are you you can't get those kind those same rhymes that he um, he creates in his poems, and you can get while you can get the meaning you just don't get that same feel. So you're not reading Ruben Dyer's poem when you read a translation. You're more of a reading a reinterpretation of his poem, more like a summary, just in the exact same amount of lines. And so I will try to read one of um, his poems that really exemplifies this kind of um, modernismo rhyme. And it's called Santa Elena de Montenegro, and it's Saint Helen of Montenegro, and I'll give you a translation of that later on. And so, as I read this, try to key into the strong rhymes of this poem. El hambre medieval vapor, sendas del sufrio vapor, y olor de muerte, horror, horror, ladran con un furioso celo. Los canes del diablo hacia el cielo, por la boca del Montgibello. Tiemblan pueblos en desvario, de hambre, de terror y de frío. Dios mío, Dios mío, Dios mío. Como en la dantesca comedia, no se riza el pelo y asedia, el espanto de la edad media. Pasan furias haciendo gestos, pasan mil rostros, de compuestos a la arriba hay signos funestos. Hay pueblos de espectros humanos que van mordiéndose las manos. Comienzan sus obras los quesanos. Falta la terrible trompeta. Mas oye el alma del poeta crujir los huesos del planeta. Now, structurally, this poem is has a very strong rhyme scheme so throughout its seven stanzas each three line stanza has um rhymes with the same endings so the rhyme scheme scheme is a a b a a a b b b c c c and so forth through g g g and in this poem Dyer uses many um interjections so in the third line he cries horror horror and in the ninth line, he exclaims, Dios mío, Dios mío, Dios mío, which means, my God. And the, the use of these um, punctuations give the poem a lot of character in that it makes him seem like he is actually crying out to someone. And it, it get, gives you that kind of image of something happening. So, so syllabically, Derek keeps his line around ten syllables for most of his poems. And so they vary, they can vary around, but they're around 10 syllables, and they're not overly long in length. He's, um, one of his poems, Two Roosevelt, it was over 45 lines, but then some of his poems are only 8 lines long. Now here's the poem in translated form, so you get more of the meaning. St. Helen of Montenegro. Through the smoky plumes of sulfur, that stalking medieval hunger, with the smell of death, the horror, Barking with furious envy, the devil's dog assail the sky, as mo the manja bello flows by. People tremble, delirious from hunger, cold, the fear of this. Dear God, dear God, dear God. 
Throughout the Commedia's pages, Dante's hair bristle at sieges, terrors of the Middle Ages. The furies pass, tempers explode, a thousand faces decompose, dire signs the sky will impose. Throngs of ghastly human specters are gnawing at their own fingers. Worms are adding to their own ooze. The shrill trumpet is still silent, but there's a sound for the poet, creaking boneyards of the planet. Darrow was a very exotic poet, and so at, at 15 he actually presented a poem to the president of Nicaragua. He, this, he created a liberal poem and about democracy and freedom, and that did not go over well with the very conservative, power-hungry pres, um, president. Even after this experience, he continued, Dyer continued to publish poems that were borderline radical. And this work, St. Helena of Montenegro, represents modernismo because the style of Dario is an exact rep representation of modernismo. This poem is a, is a description of hell-like times in Italy of the Middle Ages. Dario describes the terrifying plumes of smoke from Mount Etna, the volcano, and Montebello is Mount Etna. Dario get, makes it seem as if, while writing the poem, even he pled to God because the terror was so great. Trembling, des delirious people were very hungry under the erupting Mount Enda. They grew cold. It was a very bad world to live in. And he, Dario also mentions um, Dante's The Divine Comedy and the Terrors of the Dark Ages. The Divine Comedy, um, there were the seven um, layers of hell, and it was a very, very dark kind of comedy. And I think personally one of the cool things about his poems and I think the cool thing about the modernismo movement is that there, are, it's all, everything you can that you see, you can make a picture of a big painting or a, just a big scene or make a movie out of it. It just seems so, so amazing. You can imagine the throngs of ghastly human specters or creaking boneyards of this planet. This scenery really, really characterizes Dario's vibrant pro poems. The character of modernismo can be described as crisp. It's vibrant, but isn't weighed down by over-sentimental feelings. It has direct meaning, but doesn't lack the excitement. So it's not just a drab sentence. It's, it's something that's exciting, but still keeps some, um, some meaning. So it's fairly simple to read. Ruben Dario balanced meaning and symbolism to exemplify modernismo.